Big changes coming for students at more than a dozen Catholic schools in New York City. The Archdiocese announcing a new round of closures. Twelve schools will shut their doors across five boroughs. Two sets of schools in the Bronx are merging. But as Eyewitness News reporter Janice Yu shows us, some parents are fighting to keep the schools open. Yeah, people are not happy about this news. You can see here there are signs lining the fence here at St. Gabriel's School. This is actually one of the two schools in the Bronx that will be merging with a nearby school. And I've talked to a lot of parents today, and every single one of them has said the same thing. They are disappointed over the news, and they're even angry that this is happening. And for this to happen again is very heartbreaking. It's deja vu for Maria Skolja and her two young boys. Just three years ago, the boys came to St. Gabriel School after their school was among 20 that were closed by the Archdiocese of New York. Now they'll have to move again. They're very upset. We all are. It's a family here. They're great. Everyone's great. The parents, the teachers, we've all formed a little community. And for that now to be taken away, it's just world processing. St. Gabriel is one of two schools in the Bronx that will be merging with nearby ones for the upcoming school year. The Archdiocese of New York also announced a dozen schools will be closing and three schools in the northern Westchester, Putnam and Ulster, Sullivan and Orange regions will eliminate grades six through eight. It's news that's not only upsetting to current teachers and students, but for the many people who have been a part of this school since its opening in 1941. I grew up here. I haven't left here. So it's like if the school and church goes, this neighborhood's going to change drastically. The Archdiocese of New York says it came to this difficult decision after seeing declining enrollment and a shift in demographics, especially in the Bronx and in Manhattan. Ultimately, this was a financial decision. We have made a commitment to every single child and every single family in our schools that are not going to be re reopening in September to find a school that will welcome them. But those who are part of this community say the reassurance does little to quell the uncertainty. All of our administrators and staff, awesome people, and I'm, I'm scared they're going to be out of jobs now because I don't know what this merger means. The parents I talked to today also point out there is a church attached to the school, and right now there's a lot of uncertainty as to what will happen to that church. They say if that church ends up closing, it will be an even bigger impact on this community. In the